Welcome to the fourth video on Windows 8 and Microsoft Surface. Up until now, I've been focusing on using the Surface on a table, where you have the keyboard and the monitor, the kickstand is out. Um, but if you're always going to be working at the same location, or you're moving from one workstation to another one, you're probably going to use a desktop or a laptop, so that you have a full keyboard and all the extra capabilities that you have with those devices. The nice thing about the tablet is how portable it is, and the fact that the keyboard is actually optional. Um, so one thing that I do if I'm watching a video or something um, at the couch or in bed, you can flip the cover back and it sort of makes a stand that it will nicely sit on. Um, when I'm working on, this, on the train, I'll usually even just take the keyboard off because it does lighten it up a little bit, makes it a little bit easier to handle, and then you can pretty much do everything just with your, your fingers and with the touch screen. So for example, in Internet Explorer, if you're just browsing, you can click on links, scroll, zoom, do all of that kind of thing. If you do need to type anything, for example, like going to a specific URL, when you go to a field that requires input, it brings up a keyboard. And this keyboard looks the same as a regular keyboard. Um, you can start typing in whatever you're going to be browsing to. Um, but that can be a little bit tough, because then all the weight is going to be in one hand. And you're sort of hunting and pecking with one finger. Um, if you look in the bottom right-hand corner here, you'll see a little symbol for a keyboard. You can actually press that to change the type of keyboard that's displayed. And this next one, the second icon in, is the one I like. And I think they call this like a thumb keyboard or something. But basically they move all the letters over to the side so that you can reach them with your, your fingers and type. It might seem a little strange at first, but if you're a touch typist, I think you'll find that it, very quickly you can, you can get to what you're looking for. So I typed in the Yahoo address here and up comes the Yahoo site. Um, one option I also noticed, oh, go back here, is there's three little dots right here by the space bar um, that you can press, and that actually allows you to change the size of the, the keys to make them smaller if, um, if you're finding it hard to reach even in that mode. I actually like the larger one because the small one here is too small for my thumbs, and I sometimes end up hitting two characters. So I'm going to switch back to the large mode. Um, but this is sort of the mode I keep it in. That way I can keep both hands on the device, and I can actually type fairly quickly this way. Um, if, the keyboard, if you want the keyboard to go away, you just sort of click on whatever is behind the scene and it goes away. If for some reason that doesn't work, um, you can go back to the keyboard symbol here and the icon all the way to the right makes the keyboard go away. Um, you'll notice that there was a fourth option here, um, the third icon in. And I haven't played that much with this one, but it basically allows you to do um, script, cursive. And so I'll just try something here. So this is a test. And let it catch up here. So it didn't put spaces in this time. Sometimes it does. Um, I can strike that out and try this is a Nope, it's doing the same thing. So you never quite know what it's going to do. It's sort of a neat toy, though. It's, it's actually getting all the letters right, which that alone surprises me quite a bit. So play around with it if, it's, if, if you want to give that one a shot. For me, it doesn't seem to be any better than, than the keyboard, and so I'm pretty much going to stick with this one myself. Um, so basically, that's how the keyboard works. Um, on the screen. The other thing I wanted to show you though too, I, I do still take the cover even if I know I'm going to be on the train or something because it makes a good protective um, cover for the device. You can close it up and that way the screen is protected um, and then you can always take it off. Now you'll notice it was actually off when I opened it up. If you close it and open it quickly um, it's going to stay on. But if you close it for a little while it's going to go into sleep mode and I have no idea how long, probably something like 15, 20 seconds. Um, but it's sort of a nice feature that's going to help conserve your battery, and then it's going to come back on. You can also then just flip the keyboard behind the screen um, so that it's, it's out of your way, and then continue on with whatever you wanted to do with the device. Um, what else was I going to show? So if you need to get the keyboard in one of the fields and it doesn't come up, there, there really isn't any way directly on the screen, but you bring up that charms menu I was showing you before, hit settings, and then you'll see a little keyboard icon here. Touch that and then hit the touch keyboard and it will bring it up that way. Um, and so that's a good way to, to be able to 
to, to bring it up if it isn't showing when it should be. Um, and so I'm going to make that go away. And I haven't done this yet, and I'm going to do a whole video on it some more, but you do have the full Office Home and Student on here. I'm just going to go in there for a little bit um, to show you a few other, other things. Um, keyboard is still there. If you touch on the screen, it's going to, going to come up. And um, so it, it automatically, by default, is going to capitalize the first letter. That is configurable, but in this case, that's exactly what I want to do. So this is, oh, this is a test. And then you can do the period and then the enter is over here on the side. Um, one other thing that you can do though is for caps lock, you actually touch on the, the shift key twice. And now everything I type, oh, didn't catch. See, everything's caps now and it will be until I turn that off. So that's how you do caps lock. Now, another thing too that you can do is, it, sometimes it's hard to reach for the period. If you tap on the space bar twice, it puts in the period and a space to go on to the next sentence. So that's another um, shortcut you can use to sort of quickly get on to the next line. Um, and I think for the most part, that's everything I was going to show you. That's how you use the, the touch device with, without the keyboard. And it is very useful. Um, my hope is that, that someday um, I'll be able to adjust the way that I work well enough that this can be my main device. Um, right now I do do a couple things on the desktop that I can't do on the Surface. But once the Surface Pro comes out, or once they come out with some new apps for this one, it may be my, my uh, main computer that I can use for everything. And that's great because I can use it on the train, at home, at work, all over the place. So um, stay tuned. I think um, pretty shortly I'll start doing a video on external devices. Um, and then also that long-awaited how, how to use Windows 8 without the touchscreen. Stay tuned.